Welcome back to Combat University. I'm Tim Heiss and today I'll be going over part two of our four part series of Baki self-defense. For this lesson I'm going off a fight scene based off Muhammad Ali Jr. and Jack Hanma, Baki's brother. Watch this clip and see how Ali Jr. defends against a tackle attack. Then I'll meet you back here to show you how you can do the same thing. Let's check it out. In this episode, you saw that Ali had to defend against a tackle attack. He stepped back and he uppercutted his opponent. And that's what we're going to do here. Okay, so Bob here is trying to tackle me. It's kind of weird to use on the dummy, but for explanation purposes, this will have to do. Bob is coming in. Ollie stepped back. He uppercutted right in the face. This should help stop your opponent's momentum. So once you stop their momentum with this punch right here, this uppercut, you're going to grab the head and you're going to bring him down onto your knee. So you finish uppercutting, you bring his head and you bring it down onto your knee. You're going to step down, you're going to brace, bring his weight into, of his head into your knee. From here, side hammer to get him off of you. Bring his head onto your knee. Side hammer. So uppercut. Knee. So last time, your opponent comes in to tackle you. You step back. You step back, you uppercut. Right? Uppercut into the face. You grab his head. Bring his head into your knee. Side hammer. Now for technique number two. What do you do once your opponent already tackles you? He's already got you right here. For one, we're going to sprawl. So just kick your feet back and put your, your hips into him. You already got you here. You already sprawled your back. From here, you turn so you can, you can see your opponent's head and you can do the full range of motion. You're going to uppercut, knee, hammer. Again, you're sprawled. Turn, uppercut. Should release a little bit. Uppercut. Knee. Right. So what do you do when your opponent already tackles you, already in the tackle stance? As he touches, you want to step back a little bit. You're going to sprawl. Your hips are going to go into him. This puts pressure, and it keeps you from going back. Now you're wrestling with him. Turn. Uppercut. Knee. Hammer. For the third technique, I don't want to get tackled. So the first thing I need to do, I need to make sure that I'm not so far back that he has a chance to come at me. We want to close the distance. We want to be close enough that we could touch him. Whoa, hold on. We're going to kick the groin. This is what happens when you kick the groin. When you get hit in the groin, you're going to bend over. So let's put one foot back slightly. Hands up in defensive position. Kick the groin. After your opponent bends over, we go right back into our other technique. Uppercut, knee, hammer. Kick the groin, uppercut, slam him on the knee, hammer strike. Kick the groin, uppercut, knee, side hammer. Got it? If not, please rewind, check it again. But remember that there's multiple ways of accomplishing this technique. When someone tackles you, you could do an uppercut. You could just go straight back into the knee. You could sidestep and do a hammer. Or you just turn around and run. There's so many different options. This is just one. May not be perfect for you. May work better for somebody else. This was a little difficult to do on a heavy bag, right? Because it definitely can't tack you. We're not really dealing with the arms or anything like that. So the most you could really do is you could practice stepping back uppercut. 
right? Uppercut back is better, but if this is all you have, uppercut. Sprawl, uppercut. Knee, hip. You have your imaginary opponent. He comes in to tackle. You step back, uppercut. Grab his head, bring him down, him. But you can go on the offensive. Hold on, kick, uppercut, knee, side hammer. You can put yourself in this kind of semi sprawl, or you can even use a wall, right? It goes a sprawl, turn, uppercut, knee, side hammer. One time facing, kick, uppercut, knee, hammer, kick, uppercut, knee, side hammer. That's it for today. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe, and I'll meet you back here next time for more self-defense techniques.